Just the initiation over everything else. Oh, that smoke! Okay, okay nice reaction there. And then the dust, they know that the Klinks is there since he spotted up the smoke. Will it be his own uh, bad positioning that could lead to his demise? Will they be able to finish him yeah, off? Little dead. by little, they need... They got him. Yeah, all the curse is going to be more than enough to finish him off. He goes down. Meanwhile, back at the... Oh, oh that's God. not good. That is not good at all. Beautiful Chrono from General, who hadn't been able to make an impact in the game. Well, certainly, sir, welcome to the game. Drops down a beautiful Chrono to take down two. They'll get the follow-up kill, taking out Ohio. They want more as they hustle in for Mushi. They turn it around with a stun. Cold Embrace locks him in place, but he ate the Maldic, and he's eating oh, pretty no. much a full duration. Death Ward. I think he's got one more curse before he finally oh. will potentially pop. No, he'll timber. Oh, he'll TP back to base and somehow live. They should be able to do something now. else here. Like Chrono's going to be down. They knew it was down with the roar uh, during the Roshan fight, so they can either go tier one or they can just kill Rosh. Did you though? He thinks he can. Oh. Shot in from the high ground. Hits him in the back of the neck. Are you serious? Oh God, oh. feels bad. They need to run now. Okay, uh, they made the move, yeah. and they're second-guessing it here. General, not going for wow. the yet, but my god, and Wanda got blown the hell up. Epicenter does fly from Ohio, good burst on the Sonico, but he's going to be able to get the Cold Embrace off as a follow-up here. Not looking so good for Fnatic. Now, Ohio tries to desperately make it away, gets the Burrow off, Grave is going to expire, and he eventually gets popped right there. And on the other side, Dendi is going to get out. But yeah, Roshan being attempted here, smoke up. Here we go, Navi again going to be there at the mark. Chrono lands in him. Shockham's already there. Mid one slowly begins to wither down. DJ's in the midst of it, has to desperately get off the grave, and they've been to walk out, but they already have the roar waiting for him. So he's just sitting there grave, but he can't get away or do anything about it. Huskar's going to be going down. Fnatic already lose three, about to make it four as they take down Mushi. So far away, we don't even see where he's are, but look at the wraparound play from Fnatic. Here it is, the YOLO play. Oh, no, he's hey, how's it going? Hit. Goes right into the Yara with a huge epicenter. Can the save be there? They can. They get him with the cold embrace. He'll be fine. Mushi gets quickly bursted down. Death Ward is going to be out, but the the vengeance from Navi has already been unleashed. General what gets a, a follow-up, gets the chrono. It's going to be on DJ here. He's not going to be able to get the save off. He goes down. He does manage to go step there, waltz his way back into the base, but the chase is on. Navi have cleared out for four. Make it five. If you count the buyback here of Midwan, That's it's going to be his last life when he goes down. So will game number two, it looks like. Na'Vi have done it. Triple kill at the end there for Art Style. I mean, they, they can't do that. That's the nice thing about their lineup is they have a lot of ways they can play. They have a lot of global presence. Okay, at the center, maybe a little bit wasted here. Yeah. Uh, big target. Art Style will be going down. She crushes him in. And now look at the follow-up. Na'Vi will respond, taking up 3-4-3. She's thinking about kind of moving for Dendi here. First and down very low. Dendi trying to head to the tower and away from Zuniko. He goes man. down. And now Dicky Rock comes in from that same tower, is able to truck on forward. They will take Lucy down, turns into now a three for two. Triple kill for General as he's able to kind of clean it up on the back of his Nature's Prophet. Suddenly a wild bit one Weaver shows up from the top lane, and he's looking to go for a cleanup on Sonico in the back lines. Can he tether away? Three. Tries to make it oh back no. and out. The Looks trees. like he might be able to make it away. He is juking and driving around, and Midwan says, you know what, forget it. Tries to run away instead, but Sonico oh. hits him with a spear ball, and they get the last right click. This is turning into a shutout worth all belonging to Navi on this one. Uh, they might lose some people here, and Fnatic could get a pretty forgiving network swing if this uh, Navi squad can't kind of recollect at this point. It looks like Denny will commit it once more. They're looking first down Ohio. Boat does fly. The rum should help mitigate the he's damage so here from Fnatic, but yeah, it's just too much to tank through. And Midwan, even with the help of the boat, it looks like he's been brought pretty low. This tries to make it away. DJ gets bursted down, and General is going to grab the double kill in the back end of this one. Fnatic lose three, and they they want to try to wrap around and get this IO, but oh, they, they are going to find it. Soneko right around the 10 minute mark, looking for that rune. Might get caught out here. He tethers away. They'll relocate oh. back. And reinforcements are likely to arrive here soon. Nature's Prophet could potentially join the fray as well. Art Style's there. EG are going to need help. Dual Dendi finally come to a fight. Yes, sir. He chucks out the Chakram, lays into PPD. The backup has returned. Welcome to the Dunk Show, says Dikya Ra. He gets in nice and close on EG. He's going to bring down PPD. The armlet toggle is there. And now on design, EG might just get team wiped here. This Huskar cannot be dealt with right now. Dendi says, yeah, I'm a hero in this game too. And fear will have to go back away, but Dendi's going to chase him, lets the Shockroom go, the tether move speed is there, they're going to continue pursuit, a great gust, but is it going to be enough for the old man? The orbs come through, he barely escapes. Man, Soneko is just such a beast, he's doing so much for his team. Don't really deal with Storm very well, there's only Fiend Squeep from Bane, everyone else does not have any lockdown. Oh, they're going to make a move here and dig around, the Io's in the trees behind him, the dust comes out, he's very tanky right now, and the good impaled by Zai is going to prevent Soneko from bringing his buddy out, trying for the relocate there, it looks like, doesn't end up going down to a two for nothing, the storm still falls. Oh, 
A two for one, the mech, the mech was just a late. split second late. Storm was falling, but he ends up going down, and now they're gonna look to turn it. Dendi's into the fray. Fear out of position here is gonna get caught out. One more auto attack will finish the job. Drops the sprout for the vision, finds the last hit, and does get the kill. Dendi still at full HP in the middle of this. Let's the Chakram go. They're looking to clean up the back lines now. EG have lost three. A three for three exchange. But looking for more, the Chakram comes out, and just Ooh. not quite enough damage. Close call there with the Timber Chain, but couldn't quite get the kill. A big mistake. Nami needs to make at least two big mistakes. Maybe even three. I mean, okay, two. Sumail, so oh, quick Orchid! Oh. See ya! Oh. The goat has been brought down. Oh my god, that's gonna suck so Now Nami look for a bit more. Zai on the run here, Arc style chasing forward. Again, the Chakram. Aggressive maneuver into the back line. They go, the Huskar arrives. A laser to fear and they will, I think so. The yeah, Nami when, when, you're, when you're that rich like BTS, you can buy anything you want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the ones doing a land cafe here with their Navi though are gonna engage. They look to take the fight. Good combo by EG, the vacuum into the stun, but Sumail still dies, even when it's good for EG. It's not good enough. Navi marching for the IO leads them up to the high ground, and then he's like, oh I should, I should probably be in the backside here, but they are uh, very difficult to deal. Can they focus him down? They do get the kill on the Huskar. Well, I said Navi are normally very disciplined. Perhaps I, I jinxed them and they ooh, narrowly missed. Ah, oh, you have to work harder for more charges. Don't do. You gotta want it. This the era begins the scene. There's the vacuum, oh, the sun, the combo. Navi getting oh, caught out. And the era hurricane pikes the hell away, but Sneko is there to support him. Dendi. Okay for now, so they've only lost to Bane, the storm does end up dropping. Why does he have to and they go so far? in. Ditya Ra, manning off on the PPD, turning back on the fear, decides the Crystal Maid is already dead to the spears and looks for other kills. He is low though, the Io trying desperately to save him is gonna push himself away and does get the heal off again. The wall is still going, and Navi say we don't care about your wall. We're gonna break it right down. Just waiting from distance. Man, every I'm moving time, forward. Every time I say just leave the Huska up front, the Bane has to run up. Yeah, <laughs> someone has to run Art up. Style wants to keep it interesting as the big dunks come out. Dityara going deep. This ain't the NBA All Star man. All right, they you wouldn't Huskard. know it. They are getting Huskard like crazy, and I imagine it doesn't feel too good. Nope. <sighs> sure. 29 to 14. EG getting spanked here in game number one. Navi over a kill per minute. This felt over after the five minute mark. Chance. As well as the Dragonlance, so they are they're ready to go. So, and wrapping around from behind is that Sand King, but meanwhile the Magnus comes in, works on the era. Here comes a lot of trouble. Universe backing off Zai as well. They've already lost the Magnus. They're likely to use lose Universe as well if he's not careful. Continues to retreat. Burns to the spears. General ready for round two. Dendi on the chase. EG getting routed in the back lines. The pros off the mark. Doesn't matter. They still get three. The RP committed as well. Yeah, once he got level 2 stun and caustic, he was able to have the tower. EG though, moving in from the rear, they're gonna get the right hit. So relocate. Uh -huh. Does just run away, but Ditya Ra there in the pit is gonna find the first kill on the universe. And now, General moving forward is gonna blink out the IO to the high ground. Ditya Ra though, not being focused there, not dealing with this Huskar very well. And then the Pearl comes through on the fear. Terribly came to a fight. That surely was a mistake. He's gonna immolate. That's three down. Make it four in a second as Sumail caught out of position here. Tries to go to the Roshan suicide. Maybe blink away. That's not gonna happen. Make it four. Make it five. G. G. General celebrates. Dancing on Luigi's graves here. Mid one as well is very strong in this lane. Dendi maybe getting the calls, yes, but nothing too crazy. Top Here lane for so Nico after he goes down to the bottom lane, joins action at the top, which helps with the heal bomb factor a bit, and they try to burst down Mushi. They almost get down that Sand King, but the Shallow Grave is going to be coming out from Heart Style and will keep him alive and well. They look for a second kill on DJ and they're going to get it. Burrow will cancel that TP and Navis come right back into the game now too. Kills their way. Perfect hope. We have to look their way now that we know that Navi have anything they can ask for at this point in the game. What are Fnatic going to do? And the first thing they want to do is maybe oh. get the bottom lane, but a burrow sidesteps and avoids the ice blast. But look who sneaks in from behind. It's the little dirt, dirty Ditya Ra moving in and popping off the searing arrows. Gets the one swift kill. Ohio shows up, drops down the chrono. It is going to be on the two. Can they get the finish for General? Oh, a shallow grave is going to be there and keeps him alive. Can he make it away and create the space? Does get a burrow off for Mushi. Can they help finish him off? They can. Then he steps in with a star storm and will get it done and gets the follow up kill. Navi looking to completely take over this game. Number one, a best of three series. Finishes with Ditya Ra getting a killing spree. And we're not done yet. So Nico gets another one. Oh, and they're going to take it going. down. It's going to be a five man wipe with a track to sprinkle on top of this beautiful and delicious Navi cake. He does make a valiant jump over, but it's not going to be good enough. Gets 
Rush back into safety. And they allow for 3-4-3 to make a nice little jump to the high ground. Gerald says, no, you're not going anywhere. Jumps in with a burrow strike. But they still won't get the finish yet. Meanwhile, over, DJ going to get hit with a track. Turn around, Eclipse. A lot of damage for Dinya. Great, but a beautiful follow-up. Chrono comes up from Ohio to lock him in place. But the turnaround play from General. Oh, what an epicenter right into the heart of Fnatic. And it does force him back. No one to go down except for 343. But there's going to be the follow-up takedown of the AA. Can they get Mushi? Dendi wants him. Old rivals of Dota going toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and it's going to be Dendi who gets the last shot in the ass right there. and takes him down. Ditya has a Mithril Hammer, so... More than likely the BKB, but still leaving his options open. Long Burrow. The Long Burrow catches on mid one with the Orchid follow up. Then he says, I'll finish it. Jumps right in, hits with a Starstorm combo, and takes him down. Epi's going to be committed here from General, and that's going to force Fnatic back. General connects with the Burrow strike here for Ohio. Can they finish him off before he time walks? Yes, they can. We'll take him down. And Navi might have just put the nail in the coffin, but here comes Bushi back from the dead, back from that arrow connection. Steps in with the Eclipse. BK beat up, but still doesn't have enough firepower to finish anyone off. It's all mitigated between Navi and it's not going to do enough. Mushi still, though, like a warrior, wants to stand and fight, but ultimately... Okay, though. Fnatic has mentioned, never say die. They look to take a big fight here deep into Navi territory to catch up by surprise if possible. 343 commits for the smoke, but he, don't, he falls just as fast as he dishes out that smoke. And now the rest of Fnatic could already be on the desperate lead out, but it's not going to be happening. General's there. Huge epicenter connected. Chrono going to be dropped by Ohio. A valiant one at that, but still not going to be enough. They can't get anyone from Navi down, and they're not going to get anyone. Arcel gets off the grave and stays alive. Fnatic lose four already. I come here as well. The call is not going to connect there. And Sassy made Dendi letting the meatball fly. He's going to roll right over Bulba. The ultimate comes out. Great arrow connection, though, by E.E. Sama. But the double force step, and then the lasso. They're pulling this bear all the way back in. He wanted a taste of that sweet, sweet honey, and I think he might pay for it on the way out, Winter. There's the play break, but the false promise negates the outgoing damage. Arteezy alive for now. Are they going to manage to turn this around? Did Arteezy really just get dragged into the well and then live? Yes, sirree. He did. Oh, secret. No man left behind for this squad. And now, back to the tower. That's the power of teamwork. Was that the secret base? <laughs> yeah, seriously. He got healed up at the Fallon. Who would have thunk it? Now the Sunstrike connection onto Bulba, does incinerate him, Dendi heating up a bit in this fight, but Seeker get another kill, there's the dunk, and they chase for more. Does he have any big cooldowns available here? They do have Glam, Spice Wall, into the trees, Pyro died with the TP out, the whole squad escapes. You're not talking, apparently that's your solution to this, well, doesn't want to jinx anything. Navi trying to hold the line, Arteezy way up in front, the BKB is down though. Even with all these defensive supports, he is caught out for the time being, and they're going to look to make the move. Puppy also low. The reflection comes through. Deyara rejoining the fight, but the false promise on Puppy keeps them alive. Deafening Blast as well on to Boba. Deyara right into the backside, focusing on Envy, and now it's Dendi's turn to back off for a moment. Deyara's illusions have swarmed in, and they're massacring Secret. They need to deal with him quickly. Can they focus him down in time? The Alacrity, the chop, it's not going to happen. They both end up dropping, but Envy 2 will fall. There's the pounce forward. Four, make it five with the track. Golden Harvey clean up, hold the high ground, and get an enormous amount of gold out of that. Yep. Nothing really committed for that, and then Puppy engages, he does find General, that's a big grab, with Envy's burst damage, as well as the Oracle, they'll bring him down, Static Storm deployed on two, buy back from the bat, they're gonna re-engage, the secret retreat this time, they do have that Aegis, that cheese to work with, a little bit of extra HP, and Arteezy, he runs in, he looks for Seneca, but he's not gonna find him, he gets caught out, the double four step, dragging the Ursa so far back away from his team, he needs the help, he does for now, turn and fight onto Diyara, Fuzzy Wuzzy still lives, he lives, finally wound up going down, but he's got the Aegis for round Number two, they'll lose the Abaddon though, and with the Abaddon's death, Puppy low, Arteezy blinking out secret, need to retreat, Puppy will hammer down that tower, but a glimpse pulls Arteezy back in again, Puppy there with the two arrow call, but they need to be locking these heroes down, bursting them, finishing them off, this bear just won't die, somebody kill him already, they can't do it, Dendi up into the fountain again, the only place where it's safe, but he gets shotgun from the low ground, Envy can't quite finish him. But very close to doing oh. so, and then Denby replies with a deafening blast of Tornado, clips him on the way out, looking for more. Pylite die running back, but Denby likely to continue pursuit. The arrow comes through. Seneco, ooh, not gonna tank it. It's the Ford Spirit that does the pursuit continues. They've got the track. They look for a bit more. The ghost walk in. Pi is there trying to scout things out, slow them down, perhaps with false promise himself. Live a bit longer. But not gonna be able to get out of this one. Has the TP, just buying time and space for his team. But it will be a fourth hero hitting the deck. 
a four for three, but they also pop the the Aegis there as well. And now oh. they're looking for a fifth. They found Denby. Denby going deep for this one. The sun shaking the trees. Go split. Oh man. Oh my God, Denby. What a play. Denby's putting his team on his back right now, man. Just hats off to him. Secret. Huh. They're, they're gonna moonlight shadow. They're gonna look for the jump. Do they find anyone? Let's see how Navi position themselves. It's Arcstyle up in front. He gets called by a blink call. They all descend on, but the tornado interrupts too. Prevents the easy follow up, and now getting to work in the middle of the fight. Puppy kept back for the moment. They land the bull, but they land Arteezy. They bring them down too fast. This TV is so freaking big now with the butterfly. Can they even finish him off? Boba tries, but then he gets sundered. He gets focused. Machine gun TV in the house. Boba gonna be next. Puppy likely as well. Arteezy rejoining the fight, and Arteezy gonna go home again. A rampage for Diyara. Navi, take it, and now the series, best of five, tied up one to one. Detection is Navi after the one that Jeff did. Well, they're so to the ground, so at the very least, uh, they have that great play. He is far in there. He's a confident little one. That draw ranger gonna get caught up by the chains here to start. But the Chrono comes from behind. The BKB, Isolator Arteezy, Envy gets kept away from his team. He needs a little help here. Sineko gets the curse off and it causes the carries to turn against each other. Envy's pretty tanky, but the Ips will finish him off. Arteezy now looking to turn the fight. A good RP. Slight of fist as well, but do they have the follow damage? Puppy low, not dead yet. Brings him down and then jumps away. Can he kill Boba on the way out? No, Arteezy will force him back. Pi though, gonna be kill number three. The combo was solid. You're getting a big item like that. Usually you yell at your team, guys, relax. I need 100 gold. Oh, Arteezy gonna get caught, skewered way back, leaps on out. The stomp is there to cover his retreat, but if they can just finish him off once, get rid of the Sages, it'll be a big win. He blinks out, though. He does survive the Greaves come through, but General on the case. He isolates Bulba. Can they finish off the Tide? They're unsure of who to go for. They think once, twice about it. Then they turn back. They want to bring Bulba down. The BKB still there. The RP follow. Bulba gets off the Ravage, though. It hits the whole team. It's too late. It looks like Envy now cursed. Focus down, and Arteezy turned against them. The disruption to prevent the kill during curse. But one more imp will get the job done. And then you're on the back line, still finding kills. They've gotten rid of the Aegis. They've killed off the Drow. Now it's going to take some time before he gets it because he lost his life. Oh, disruption here. And running the other way. General does get caught. Now shotgun down by Arteezy. They're getting a little too big for their britches, perhaps. They exit the base. Snako gets found out, tries to juke. They can't juke Mr. 9K. Godlike, he has yet to die this game. They had like the false sense of security. Oh, uh, uh, is the Jinx here? I think oh. the Jinx is here. He leaves oh. out the self shotgun for the save, but the chase continues from Dayara. Gonna burn him down soon. Slide of fist. One more right oh, click. No. Oh god! It's Arteezy's turn to just feed away a gigantic pile of gold to Navi. Buys more. Wins. How many kills have they not gotten because they don't have sentries in their heroes? Enough that he, uh, he oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh my god. Blink and you'll miss it. Oh my god. With the devastating crit. So now General looking to follow this up. He's got a chrono ready to go. There is a disruption available, I believe. Pilai died there. And he purges General as well, but still, they're gonna have a Winter's Curse ready to go. The Aegis quickly cracked and looking for more. Rolling on the puppy, trying to lock down Envy at the same time. The chains are there. He looks to run, but can he get out? The gust comes through. He still retreats, but Dityara is gonna continue the chase. Blink and look for the slide. The RP as well. Off with your head, secret, say Navi. Decapitating. Three heroes getting rid of the Aegis as well. You can see that butterfly on the ground. True, like, pure DPS item. Just kind of cheap stats. Is, you know, so every LC up is in. Creeps up against the board now. Under the cover of smoke. Not me. Looking for the killing blow here in secret. And as they go for the D ward, he strikes. Dendi, Blake, RP, Skewer on back. Piling in the knock them down. Gonna get Arteezy as well. Good use of the shotgun, not gonna matter. Navi cleaning up and secret G -G. on their last legs. The chrono to boot. It actually holds Diggy on position. Not ideal. Boba's gonna try for this, but even the curse is there to deny him as well. There will be no turnaround. Boba ravages, but it's all for nothing as Navi hold the high ground. And again, they best secret down the stretch as the game. Navi just swarming into the secret base, battering down the front door. There is no sort of valiant defense in sight. Secret are forfeiting racks while Envy farms. But it 
with his slow farm. He's only working on a Lincolns last we checked, and that is not an item that's going to salvage this game. General, though, looking for the killing blow. Gets the last off on Bulba. There's the disruption. Now it's Pilot Eye who might become the target. Puppy with the dieback, looking for more. They will find a second kill. Possibly a third. Arteezy low. The Flaming Spear is ticking him down. Even Envy's got to run. He will survive in the fountain. They, Secret is just... This is the team that has won the most Star Ladders by far out of anyone. And it's been a while since their last Star Ladder victory. Fell short at the last Invitational, but here they are, Navi. About to take it. Mowing down Pilot Eye. Hexing up Arteezy. Braiding him down as well. Navi. They are doing it in style. Their former captain will fall as well. A triple kill for Dinya Ra. And there's the call. Navi is truly back. They have won their first major tournament in a very long time. And they are feeling it. All smiles, all hugs. This was truly a team effort. Oh, what a performance. Mr. Gollum by Navi here. That started though. It's amazing. That point, Dendi. Questions surrounding you know, his individual play and would he ever come back to be a premier mid player, but 